Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Yeah. Can everyone hear me alright? Because I'm wearing the little sound mic. Is that okay? Very soft. Very soft? Alright. You've been commanded to crank it. Yeah, I'm cranking it. Is that cranking up? A little bit louder? Yeah. Oh, yeah. All right. Is that okay? I'll try and uh, project a little bit more. Okay. I'll get into it. I like your voice, Russell. <laughs> I've been having a lot of fun with this voice. Yeah, you actually didn't recognize me this morning. Um... um for those of us that were here on Wednesday, great to, who doesn't usually come on Sundays, she had a, a powerful word, and I'm sure many of you would remember. Uh, she had a word, and uh, it came so powerfully, she couldn't contain it. It came during worship, and uh, it came with a lot of emphasis and a, and, and a sense of urgency, right? You guys remember what that word was? Yeah. Rise up. Rise up. Rise up. <laughs> Rise up as king, as kings, right? Rise up. We've been told that for quite a while now, but the urgency is getting stronger and the emphasis is getting stronger. All right? The Lord told me to do the same thing at home, and, and, and when He told me to do that, He told me with the same urgency and the same emphasis. And, uh, and I was talking to someone about that, and, uh, and my question to them was you know, we're, we're all here at the upper room. How, how is it possible that we're not standing up as kings? Why is it that? That, that the Lord is chasing us about this and, and, and pushing us. Well, what's going on? And the question I got back was, how, how is this different from how I live back today? Alright? So, at that point I realized there's been a lot of teaching about this. A lot of teaching about what is involved in, in rising up as a king. But this teaching has taken place over years, actually. And uh, it's covered a variety of topics. But because it's been so detailed and far apart, we've come to a point where I don't think we see the wood for the trees. Mm. All right? So what happened was, just a few nights ago, I had a dream. And in this dream, the Lord showed me what I needed to do. And He wanted me to summarize it in an easy-to-do format. How you rise up as a king. All right? And I, I actually thought it was an awesome idea because... We've, we've, been, we've experienced and received all these teachings, right? Sometimes they seem disconnected, sometimes they were odd, but they've all come together now. This is the culmination of all the teachings we've received over the last few years, right? We've talked about things like meditation and why meditation is important. We've talked about the heart so many times, the heart versus the mind, the importance of trusting God, how to operate as a son, what a son is, right? All of these things, all of these things. And in and of, of, of themselves, they're very important, they're very powerful. But when it comes time to rise up as a king, we bring them all together. Okay? Now, what does it mean to rise up as a king? Short story, short summary, is that it, simply speaking, Rising up as a king means to position yourself properly in the spirit. Alright? What does that mean? Essentially what it means is shifting your heart consciously, making a conscious effort to shift your heart because your heart is the gateway to the spirit. Your heart is the gateway to the kingdom of God. Alright? So you've got to shift your heart and when you do that properly, you take your position. And how do you shift your heart? Through meditation. Now, for those of you that were here last week, we had Sean, our guest speaker. He, he came with a wonderful message, right? And that is how we operate as sons. And it was wonderful for me especially because it was very confirming of a, of a lot of things that I taught, a lot of things that I brought. In particular, he mentioned meditation, which I was thrilled about. All right? Meditation has the power to affect the heart. Meditation has the power to shift the heart and put it in the right place. So, like when, when Helena was talking earlier about our scrolls, uh, Deborah, she's telling you, she's telling all of us, position yourselves. And this is what I'm talking about. When we stand up as kings, we are positioning ourselves. And we are firmly rooting our feet in the kingdom of heaven. 
Alright? Because as we've spoken about many times before, we've got, we all have two identities. We've got our earthly identity, who you are right now, and you've got your heavenly identity. Alright? And simply speaking, you cannot operate as a king from your earthly identity. Alright? You can't. You have to step into who you are in the kingdom realm. Who God has called you to be. Right? He's given us mantles, He's given us crowns, He's given us authority, He's given us commissioning, He's given us a whole manner of things. He's done all that He can do. But now it's time for us to rise up and to step into that. And we step into that by positioning ourselves and we do that by positioning our eyes. Okay? So this is what we're called to do right now. And what I'm, what I'm really hoping to do today is to simply summarize it very clearly, which is what I believe the Lord told me to do. Summarize it very clearly so it's very easy to understand. So if by the end of this session you don't understand it, please feel free to talk to me at any time. Because this is so important, guys. So important. This is why we're all here. This is, this is the time we've all been waiting for. Alright? God has done so much for us. He's called us. He's, he's, he's given us so much. Now He's looking at us and He's asking us to stand. And it's up to us individually to respond. How are we going to do that? And, and you really can't respond if you don't know how to. Alright? So this is very, very, very important. Alright. So, um, Jody, could I ask you to hand out these sheets, please? Alright, while, while Jody's handing this out, I'll give an example. I'll give you a guy from analogy, right? When you've got soldiers that are in training, they are usually stationed at some sort of base or barracks. These guys are getting trained, these men and women, they're getting trained, they're getting exercised, they, they're getting taught all manner of skills, right? And they are being prepared for war. They're being prepared for battle, both physically and mentally. But while they are there, when they're not training, they're usually in their base. They're hanging around, having fun, playing sport, chatting, whatever. And they're training back and forth, right? And they go back and forth. However, when the time comes and the battle begins, when the war begins, the sirens go off, and these soldiers all drop what they're doing, and they come and they line up, they stand at attention and they await orders. Alright? That's very much the position we are in at the moment. Alright? We've spent years training, being equipped, learning a whole bunch of stuff. Alright? But we've, we've done so mainly from our earthly identity. But now the sirens are going off and God is calling us to attention. Alright? And how do we respond to that? How do we stand? We position ourselves in the Spirit, effectively. We position ourselves, we stand up as kings and we remain standing as kings. Okay? From that point on, God will do whatever He can through us. Because when our feet are firmly uh, planted in the kingdom like that, we're in a position to hear from Him. We're in a position to receive from Him. We're, we're in a position to serve Him. And we're in a position to allow His power to flow through us and into this world. Alright? That's why positioning is so important. And that's why you can't act as a king from your earthly identity, because that conduit doesn't exist. That connection doesn't exist. Alright? We need to be properly positioned and positioned all the time. We need to stand up now and to remain standing. Alright? I'll give you an example of one thing. I don't know how many of you have done this, but when you do actually stand like this, the enemy is quickly going to come to tear you right down. Mm. He comes, he comes, and he comes with a vengeance. And you know what? We've spoken about this before as well. You know what he hooks into you to bring you down? Your brokenness, your pains, your unhealed wounds. He'll bring you down and he'll tear you down very, in a very nasty way sometimes. So, when we stand up, uh, I, I, I've been through very painful times trying to do that, trying to stand up. I don't need to be pulled back down all the time. So, um, there's two things you can do. Number one, either get completely and utterly healed so that all the hooks are gone. Not really realistic, don't have time for that. Right? Yeah. I'm not even sure if anyone can do that. Right? Option two is what he's been teaching us to do. And that is to trust him deeply. 
Alright? We've spoken about this so many times. When you trust Him deeply, deeply, deeply with an intentional trust, right? I'm not talking about the, the average, everyday sort of trust. When it comes to trusting God, it's an entirely different thing. It's a very powerful thing. Different thing entirely. When you trust Him with the sort of trust that He expects of you, you become resilient and you become powerful. Alright? And the enemy can no longer pull you down, regardless of whether you've got a team or not. Alright? So when we rise up as kings, and we walk in a very deep trust with Him, what we establish is a very, very strong spiritual foundation in our lives. We remain standing. That's how we remain standing. And then from that point, we operate as sons and kings, like Sean was talking about. If you guys haven't heard that message from Sean, I highly recommend you listen to it. And if you, if you have heard it, I highly recommend you hear it again. It's very powerful. It's very good. So, Sean talked about how to operate as a son. I'm adding to this today by saying, when we position ourselves, it is the firm foundation upon which a son operates. Without a strong foundation, we'll just keep falling over. Alright? We'll be an easy target. You need that foundation to remain strong. Okay? And this is what this is about. When you position yourself this way, you establish a strong foundation from which to operate. And a strong foundation, not only to do what God has called you to do, but, but this is a, a powerful foundation for you to allow the power of God to flow through you and into the problems of your life. This is about you too. Alright? This is how you come against all the problems and the challenges that you face. Alright? And that's why the enemy wants to pull you back down. He doesn't want that. Alright? Alright, so everyone goes? Everyone got a copy? Alright, yeah, thank you. Alright, so I'm trying to make this as simple as possible, right? Um, so the black bits are the instructions essentially. The, the small font with the grey bits are in, um, sort of explanations on what the black bits mean. Now hopefully that should all be pretty easily understood. It should be pretty clear. And that's what it looks like. That's what it looks like. So, as I mentioned before, it says something we do consciously. And ideally, we should be doing this every morning, maybe even once a day. Alright? But when you get up in the morning, the first thing you do is remember who you are. You are not just alien. You are not just Karen. You are not just Tanana. Alright? You are kings and sons. Alright? You focus on that and you meditate on that. You have a throne in heaven. You take your seat on that throne. You meditate on that. Okay? You don't just speak out the words. You meditate on it because meditation is what affects the heart. And what we want to do is position the heart. When you meditate on something effectively, you can feel it inside you. It changes you because it, it radically shifts the heart. Alright? Very important. A little bit of meditation it doesn't have to go for hours. It's just, you know, you can feel it. When you meditate and you, and you take your place on your throne and you remember that you are a, a son or a king. And that regardless of what your, your life looks like, you know who you are. When you do that, it's powerful. And you know when it's happened. It's at that point that you take in your place. Alright? And then you take your seat on your heavenly throne, and you do it by faith. And when you are postured that way, when you've taken your place as a king that way, then internally you keep your focus on him at all times, regardless of what you're doing. Alright? And, and the thing is, once you assume this posture, the heart can stay like that for a while. Mm -hmm. Alright? It can stay like that for a while. And the heart will keep its eyes on him. So anytime he wants to speak or do something, the heart will be ready to receive. Right? And you'll be ready to act. That's why it's so important to be postured correctly as a king. Alright? And this is how you spend your day. You live and operate from heaven. Alright? Because your heart is postured correctly. Your heart is looking at him always. Alright? And as we said, you remain standing as a king of that at all times. It, it takes a bit of practice, honestly, to get into this initially. Because that's not, we, we're so used to living from our earthly identity. And, okay, so here, here, here's how it usually works. We spend most of our time in our earthly identity, but then we shift to our heavenly identity when we need to pray, when we need to ask something, when something's wrong, right? It's, it's sort of like the last resort. We just go there when we need something, but then we shift back 
to who we are in this earth of our own. Right? What God is asking us to do now is to do the reverse of that. To spend the bulk of our time as a king in the heavenly realm. Every once in a while you might get pulled back to the earth of the realm. That's fine, you just move back. And you learn to live from the heavenly realm as a king and as a son. Alright? And your identity as an earthly person will diminish. Okay? And believe me, as you start doing this, you're, you're actually going to start changing. As I started doing this, my character started changing. I, I couldn't believe it. Alright? Somehow I uh, became stronger, somehow I became more confident, my prayers became more powerful, my decrees became more powerful, I became more in tune with the Spirit. Things like fear, doubt, and unbelief that I mentioned in the Gospels, they, they somehow back off quite a bit because they've got nothing to point to. Alright? As we do this, we become more of a... And this is what Ian Clayton used to say. When you become a reflection of heaven, and heaven can see itself in you, then heaven is more likely to work through you and land on you. Okay? And that's what happens. When you take your position as a king, heaven sees its reflection on you. You know, it's a wonderful thing. Um, so we remain standing as a king at all times. And it's very important. Standing as a king is very important. Regardless of what's happening, nothing at all may be happening, right? It doesn't matter. Rising up and standing as a king is not conditional on anything. It's nothing. Right, standing up and remaining standing is all important regardless of what's happening. In fact, rising up and standing up is more important when trouble comes. Right? Not just when it's quiet, but when trouble comes, when it's apparently, when difficulties come, it's very important to remain standing. Because the enemy will try and pull you down. And that's where we need to trust in him deeply. Deeply and consciously trust him. If you try and do this on your own, you're not going to have the strength to sustain it. Um, so we do this every day we prioritize it we make it an effort it's a spiritual practice right really that's all it is it's a spiritual practice and as we practice it we get stronger at it better at it and it's going to affect us spiritually our muscles our spiritual muscles are going to grow and we're going to start changing we're going to start transforming and you should see the impact of that rolling out into your life alright um, the more you position yourself this way, the more your perspective changes. You're going to look at everything from God's perspective and not your own. When you position yourself this way, it becomes all about Him and it, stop, it, it becomes less about you. All right? Things change radically. I'm not, even, I'm not even touching the tip of the iceberg yet. When you position yourself like this consistently, that's one thing Sean said last Sunday, which I love. Consistently. Consistency is the key to everything. All right. When you op- want to live as a son, as a king, and you want to operate that way, consistency is key. That's again why the enemy tries to come and pull you down. He wants to break that consistency. He's not going to try and stop you from taking your position, but he wants to stop you from being there consistently. Yeah. yeah? <coughs> That's why this is so important. That's why trust is so important. All right. Um, and as you do this, what's essentially going to happen is you're going to rewire yourself. You get rewired. You look at things differently. You function differently. You operate stronger in, in, in spiritually. Um, and I think in some way, it just gives God the ability to mold you and shape you and turn you into what He wants you to be. And you're just ready to You're ready to serve Him. And you're ready for the kingdom. You know, you're ready to step into the destiny and whatever you're called to, to do. It's a wonderful, wonderful thing. But, it takes a bit of effort. It's not going to happen on its own. It doesn't happen on its own. Alright? The truth be told, living in our earthly identity is very comfortable. Very comfortable. But we're, we're asked to step outside of the comfort zone. That's why God is repeatedly calling us. Step up, step up, step up. Rise up. Rise up to the king. He's asking us to step outside of our comfort zone. Alright? And it's going to take a bit of work and a little bit of discipline. Alright, so that's it. It's a short teaching today. I hope that makes sense to everyone. Right? If not, if anyone has any questions at all, and I, look, you may, you may have questions because not everyone has been with us on the journey. Not everyone has had all the same teaching. But listen, if anybody wants to talk about it, this is so important. I'm happy to spend hours talking about it to anyone that wants to talk. So, um, yeah, let me know. 
But um, on that note, Helena, I'm uh, going to finish up. I'm going to pass back to you.